One Size has launched a new primer. So this is the One Size Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. It has something called boba in it, y'all. These little balls in here. I was super excited to pick this up. I do like One Size primers. Their Secure the Sweat Primer really does secure the sweat and hold your makeup in place. Now this is one of those sort of tacky, sticky primers that reminds me of like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer or the um, Elf Power Grip Primer, one of those type, except this one is tackier than those. Like it has a little bit more stick than those do. So. so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance and lifestyle vlogs. So if you're into those type of videos, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So I did use Secure the Glow to do this look today. If you wanna see how I got this look using the primer, Keep on watching. Okay, socialites, so here's the primer, the new one size Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer, which is actually the perfect name, y'all. This is really tacky, okay? So to prep my skin before this, I just washed my face and used moisturizer only. I didn't wanna do too much skincare because this is a skincare packed primer. So I just use the Clinique Moisture Surge because it's one of those quicker drying that doesn't leave the skin super tacky or anything like that. It's not like um, one of those really plushy ones. It's really lightweight is what I'm trying to say. So the primer does have omega fatty acids, black tea, and antioxidants in it. It's something in here that they call boba complex, which I think are those little balls that you see swimming around in here. And as you blend it into the skin, it does sort of dissipate, like they start to sort of crush in a sense. So let's just apply one pump all over. This is quite a tacky product. So it does have the perfect name. I'm going in with one more pump. This is supposed to give you a really glowy skin look. So I don't wanna use a full coverage foundation. We wanna use something where we can actually see the glow. It's quite tacky, I like that, and it does leave a nice glow to the skin. I really wanna see how much glow we can achieve with the product since that's the main claim of it, to provide that glowy look to the skin. So I'm gonna use the new Fenty Concealer, the Wear Even Concealer. This is the shade 390. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. And you don't need a lot of this at all. Not that much should do it. My LYS foundation brush. can even check if it, so it doesn't really have a smell. <laughs> Didn't check for the smell. So it does have a nice glow to it that you can see through the foundation. So let's go in and set. I'm gonna use my One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. This one's in the shade Ultra Pink. Love this powder so much. Definitely one of my faves. So reliable. <laughs> My Absolute Pro Bronzer. This one's in the shade Dark. Real Techniques 400 brush. We're just gonna bronze up the face. My Anastasia Brow Glue. Ooh, I forget how slimy it is, y'all. I be careful with this stuff. I keep getting whiffs of myself. It smells so good. I'm wearing Princess by Killian today. And if you guys know anything about that, it just leaves this sweet, beautiful bubble around you that's just, uh, I love when I can smell myself all day. <laughs> it's so good. It doesn't last very long. I feel like after about three or four hours, can't really smell it anymore. Let's try this Melt Perfectionist Brow Pencil. Never tried this before. It was on sale at Sephora about a month or so ago. I think I got it for like $6. Ooh, it has that like soft matte texture to the packaging, that's cute. Okay, so it has a spoolie on one side 
and then the pencil on another. Oh, it's like a triangular tip, like the LYS brow pencil. Interesting, really skinny, it's like super micro. Oh my goodness, I wonder if this is why I was on sale. I wonder, is it old? It's like hard to, I'm not gonna fuss around with that. So let's use my <laughs> Sephora brow pencil. Here we go. Had to fight with that other pencil. It was like dry and stiff or something. I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 palette. This is the darkest brown shadow I'm putting on the outer corner. This shade right here all over the lid. I'm gonna take a mixture of these two browns just to soften the edges a little bit. Mascara. Yeah, I don't even feel like I need lashes on today. I'm not even gonna put on lashes. I should just lay this mascara on here a little thicker. Put a little bit of blush on. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic blush. <laughs> the Intense. This brush is so prickly. This is came in like a Sonia Kashuk. Do y'all remember this set? I feel like everybody had this set like around 2015 maybe. And it's just now getting like prickly. So, I mean, nine years? That's not bad, but yeah, it's starting to feel uncomfortable. I'm gonna brighten my inner corners just a little bit. Take my Morphe spray. I think that's it for this Madeline. <laughs> Probably the last wear, but I do have more. Yeah, this is like empty. Scrape the last little bit out. Love the NYX Butter Glosses. I've been using these for years. So this is the look. It is slightly tacky at the bottom because I didn't set the bottom. I rarely set the bottom of my face. So it does feel slightly tacky here, but the rest feels you know, like mattified a little bit. So this is the final look. Next time I use this primer, I wanna compare how the Milk Hydro Primer looks. So I'll do that on one side and then the one size on the other side just to compare. I feel like after I put on all the makeup, it's not super glowy. And to me, these type of gripping primers aren't super glowy, although it's more glowy than like a mattifying primer it's not mattifying and usually they're long wearing so this is the final look comment down below let me know if this is something that you guys are interested in trying i'm going to play around with this a little bit more over the next couple videos and just kind of see what's the real difference between this one and let's say like the milk hydro primer or either the elf power grip we sh we shall see but i do like the way my makeup turned out everything i used on my face today will be linked down below in the description box so be sure to check that out if you're new here welcome i would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one I don't have the answers